Yesterday we had a lava breach toward the west. Uh, it was a strange because we didn't have such a thing for a long time. And uh, the lava breach also was closer to the cone of the volcano of the K1. The direction was toward the west. This is the second uh, from the volcano, one of those gullies. And then during the day we could see that this is uh, uh, settling itself. In the afternoon we saw another dot to the extreme uh, left, you can see that, added to that. And then expanding over the night, the volcano looked vigorous. And then we have this. This is not a breakage in the wall. I don't see any breakage. This is coming from the gully. And when we zoom back a little bit, we can see the extent of it. It's going toward the north, toward those craters. And along the valley between the Sundunka and the north uh, uh, fissures, which erupted first in the 16th of uh, uh, March 2024. Now, uh, during the day, we can see that it's gradually settling down. And uh, the extent of it is becoming visible. The directions... Is from the first gully next adjacent to the cone of the cave and volcano, then it's spreading left and right. You can see that that's toward the north and toward the slightly northwest. What is we are seeing is that in the GPS data, we see a constant rise all the time for a while. And that means something is blocking the passage of the lab, magma and the land rise happening. We will have an uplift of the ground. Nothing or little amounts is coming out. We can see it visually like that. Uh, and then we have a, a slight flattening. That means the blockage is removed. The land rise or uplift is just slowed down and we see f magma flowing freely. And that's when we have a surge in the eruption suddenly. We see that the huge amount of the lava coming out. Then we have again blockage happening. GPS data shows the land rise is steeply going upward. Something is blocking the way of the magma. And then again, easing it up and then flowing freely toward the surface. We have a surge of the lava at the surface. Then again, rising, something blocking the passage. Then again, something will happen and blockage will happen. These are all eased out by this opening of an extension of the rift valley. Uh, these are the uplift and downward movements we see all the time in the GPS data. And visually, we can see it now. And the effect of this is what these lava breaches are showing us. It's amazing, but it's more amazing that we can understand it this way.